Hello everyone, myself Hena Shah. So today we are going to discuss a topic named trigonometric functions. So firstly, let us study the definition of trigonometry. So trigonometry is all about triangles. Trigonometry is a branch of mathematics that studies relationships involving lengths and angles of triangles. So a right angle triangle has three sides which can be uniquely identified as the hypotenuse adjacent side to the given angle theta and opposite side to the given angle theta. For example, let us take this triangle which is having a right angle, right? And here there is theta. So we can name this side as our opposite side. Now this side is known as the adjacent side to the given angle theta and this side is known as what hypotenuse. So there are total three sides in a right angle triangle. They are named as opposite side, adjacent side and hypotenuse. Fine. So now let us study some basic trigonometric functions. So now suppose if we have a right angle triangle ACB right and here there is an angle theta. Uh, so we can name this as opposite side, fine. This is known as our adjacent side to the given angle theta and this is known as what hypotenuse. So now let us define sine. So sine theta is equal to opposite side upon hypotenuse. So it is known as AC upon AB. Similarly, let us define cos. So cos theta is adjacent side upon hypotenuse. So we can write it as BC upon AB. Now, tan theta will be equals to opposite side upon adjacent side. So, AC upon BC, right? Now, cosec theta can be written as 1 upon sin theta. Similarly, sec theta is 1 upon cos theta. Cot theta is 1 upon tan theta. And now, tan can be written as sin theta upon cos theta. And similarly, cot theta can be written as cos theta upon sin theta, fine? So, now... Uh, we will study extending the definitions of sine function and cosine function for a unit circle. So now I will show you that how can we denote sine and cos in a unit circle. So what is a unit circle firstly? A unit circle is a circle with radius 1. Now we know the definition of sine theta. It is what? Opposite side upon hypotenuse. Now we can see this is our opposite side, adjacent side and hypotenuse. But you can see this is also the radius of the unit circle. So it is 1. So finally our answer of OB is 1. Right? Why? Because it is radius of the circle also. Done? So now sine theta is equal to AB upon OB. But our OB is 1. Right? So sine theta will be equal to what? AB. Now you can see in this diagram that is AB will be equal to OC because it is a rectangle. Right? So, sin theta is finally our y coordinate of the point B. So, this can also be written as sin theta. So, here you can see this is denoted by what sin theta, right? Now, cos theta is what? Adjacent side upon hypotenuse. That will be what? OA upon OB. But OB is the radius and which is equals to 1. So, finally our cos theta is what? OA. And so we can denote this as our OA and it is cos theta, fine. So cos theta is known as the x coordinate of point B. So finally B can be written as cos theta comma sin theta. So x is cos theta and y is what sin theta. Now let us study some important trigonometric formulas which can be derived using unit circle. Unit circle means circle having radius 1. Fine. So again let us draw the circle of radius 1. Fine. And let us take this triangle again. That is triangle OAB. This is a right angle triangle. So we can use our Pythagoras theorem. So from that we can write it as OB square is equal to OA square plus AB square using Pythagoras theorem. Now just we have studied that this can be denoted by what sign because it is a y coordinate. And this can be denoted as cos. So just replace the OA and AB by sine and cos. So we have derived that sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Now in this you can ask 
the question is prove that the sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1 using unit circle you can be asked in this manner right so what you have to draw, do first draw the circle then write up to here fine now what we will do is we will divide this equation 1 with sin square theta so if i divide this will become 1 plus this will become cos square upon sin square but we know cot theta is equal to what cos theta upon sin theta right so we will get 1 plus cot square is equal to 1 upon sin square means what cos x square so we have derived one more important formula that is 1 plus cot square is equal to what cos x square now similarly again we will divide this equation 1 right by what cos square theta so here what i will get this will go to 1 here i will get sin square upon cos square but we know tan theta is what sin theta upon cos theta so this will become tan square and here what we will get 1 upon cos square that can be written as what sin square theta fine so in short you will be asked the question as prove that sin square plus cos square is equal to 1 using unit circle and further prove that 1 plus cos square theta is equal to cos x square theta and 1 plus tan square is equal to sex square theta. It is compulsory to draw this circle, right? It is a very important example. Okay, so let us move on to few more definitions. So we will study the definition of even and odd functions. So firstly, what is an even function? A function f of x is known as an even function if f of minus x is equal to f of x for all x. For example, if I take f of x is equal to x squared, right? And let us put minus x in place of x. So this will become minus x whole square. Again, we are getting x square, so which is equal to f of x. So for such type of function, we can say that the function is an even function. So the examples are x squared, x raised to 4, etc. So all even powers of x. Similarly, what is known as an odd function? A function f of x is an odd function if f of minus x is equal to minus f of x for all x. So for example, if I consider our f of x as x only. So replace x by minus x. So you will get minus x that can be written as minus f of x. So this holds for all x. So the examples of odd function are x, x cube, x raised to 5, etc. So we can say that we are having odd powers of x, right? So next, so let us study one example. So we have to prove that cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta using unit circle. Or the question can be formed as we have to prove that cos is an even function. You just have studied that if we replace by minus x and we get the same answer, the function is known as what? Even function. So if this holds true, the function is known as what? Even function, right? Again, so uh, draw the similar unit circle, right? That is, and draw the triangle O, A, B. And here it is a right angle triangle. We can mark this as cos theta because cos theta is what? The x coordinate, right? So from the diagram 1, we can say that cos theta is equal to OA. Now I am see, uh, taking the in the direction of minus theta. So we are moving our triangle in the opposite direction, fine? So our x coordinate will now be equal to what? Cos of minus theta. Because our angle is what? Minus theta. Fine? So now our OA will be what? Cos of minus theta. These both are OA. So from 1 and 2, we can see that cos theta is equal to what? Cos of minus theta. Therefore, cos is an even function. Just the technique is to take the triangle in the opposite side and the angle as minus theta. Fine? So now... Let us study one more example. We have to prove that sine of minus theta is equal to minus sine theta using unit circle. Or you have to prove that sine theta is an odd function. How can we say that? Because we just studied the definition. If f of minus x is equal to minus f of x, then the function is known as odd function. So if this holds true, the function can be said as an odd function. 
Again, we have to draw the similar unit circle, mark this as cos theta, this as sin theta, right? So, from diagram 1, we can say that our OC is equals to what the sin theta. This we have studied already. Now, let us move this triangle in the opposite direction and take our theta as what? Minus theta. Now, you can see this OC is in negative direction, in opposite direction. So, it, it can be written as minus OC, right? So, my sign of minus theta is equals to minus OC. You can see this is in opposite direction. So, we have to write minus OC. So, finally from this we can say that OC is equals to what? Minus sign of minus theta. So, from these two what we can say that sin theta is equals to minus sin minus theta. Or you can say that sin of minus theta is equals to minus sin theta, right? And from this we can see that sin is an odd function. Just you have to remember this OC is in negative direction. So, we have to write minus OC, fine? Now, let us study the behavior of cos theta as theta increases from 0 to pi by 2 with the help of unit circle. First, let us write the values of cos 0 and cos pi by 2. We know the value of cos 0 is what? 1. And value of cos pi by 2 is what? 0. So, as we are moving from 0, this is 1, right? Now, as we are moving from 0 to pi by 2, you can see that the value of cos decreases. You can see from these values only, right? So, we can notice that as theta increases in the first quadrant, cos theta decreases, right? Because finally, cos 90 is what? 0. Now, let us check the behavior of cos theta as theta decreases from pi by 2 to 0 with the help of unit circle. Fine? So, again, let me write the value of cos 0 that is 1 and cos pi by 2 that is cos 90 will be 0. Now, we are moving from this to this that is pi by 2 to 0. You can see the cos theta is what increasing, right? You can see from the values also, if I move from pi by 2 to 0, the value of cos theta is increases. So, from this we can notice that as theta decreases in the first quadrant, that is as we move from pi by 2 to 0, value of cos theta increases. Next, let us check the behavior of sin theta as theta increases from 0 to pi by 2 with the help of unit circle. Again, let us write the value of sin 0 that is 0 and sin 90, sin pi by 2 that is 1. So, as I increase my theta from 0 to pi by 2, you can see as theta increases in the first quadrant, the value of sin also increases and finally the value of sin 90 is what 1. Fine. Now, let us similarly check the behavior of sin theta as theta decreases from pi by 2 to 0 with the help of unit circle. You have to compulsory draw these three circles and show. So, let us write the value again sin 0 is 0, sin 5 by 2 is 1, right? So, as we move from pi by 2 to 0, you can see our sin theta also decreases. So, we can say that as theta decreases in the first quadrant, sin theta also decreases. And finally, the value of sin degree is what? 0, okay? So, now... Uh, you have to remember this trigonometric table uh, which are having angles from 0 to 2 pi, right? Now, let us study a few examples. We are given the value of 10 theta is 3 by 4. We have to find the values of other trigonometric functions. Means we have to find the values of sin theta, cos theta, sec theta, right? Cosec theta and cot theta. Only one value is given. So, we are given 10 theta is 3 upon 4, means opposite side upon adjacent side. This is what is given. So, let us draw one triangle A, B, C, right angle triangle, fine. So, and here is our theta. So, this is our opposite side, this is our adjacent side and this is our hypotenuse, fine. Now, this can be written as A, B upon B, C. Now you can see the value of AB is what? 3, 
value of BC is 4. Now we just have to find the value of AC. Now using Pythagoras theorem, right? We know that uh, AC square is equal to what? AB square plus BC square. Fine? So now put all the values. So AC square is, will be equal to 3 square plus 4 square. So AC square is equal to 9 plus 16, that is 25. So the value of AC is what? 5. So this is 5. Now we can write all the values, right? So we know sine theta is what? Opposite side upon hypotenuse. So AB upon AC, so value is 3 upon 5. Cos theta is what? Adjacent side. So BC upon hypotenuse, that is AC. So the answer will be 4 upon 5. Now sec theta means 1 upon cos theta. So answer will be 5 upon 4. Cos sec theta means 1 upon sine theta. So answer will be 5 upon 3. And lastly, cos theta is what? 1 upon 10 theta. So answer will be what? 4 by 3. Fine. Now let us go to the next example. We are given that 3 sin theta is equal to 4 cos theta. And we have to find the value of this. So let us write 3 sin theta is equal to 4 cos theta. Now I will modify this. So we can write this as sin theta upon cos theta is equals to 4 by 3. Now I will apply componendo and dividendo. Means what I am showing you. So I will add the numerator. Add in the numerator. Right. And subtract in the denominator. Now similar process will apply on the right side. So here it will be 4 plus 3. 4 minus 3. So the final answer is 7, right? So we have got the answer of the required example. Now let's go to the next example. We have to write down the maximum and minimum value of phi sin theta plus 3. Now we know the maximum value of sin theta is what 1? That is at sin 90, right? And the minimum value of sin theta will be equals to what? Minus 1. Fine. So let us find the maximum value of. So the maximum value of phi sin theta plus 3 will be, if I put 1 in place of sin theta, it will be 8. And the minimum value of phi sin theta plus 3. Now put minus 1 over here, right? So the answer will be what? Minus 2. Okay. So now let us go to the next example. We have to check whether this function is even or odd. In order to check the function whether it is even or odd, we have to replace x by minus x. So just replace x by minus x. So this will be minus x whole square sine square minus x. Fine. Now this will be equal to x square. And this will be equal to what? Sine square x because it is square. So we can write as sine square x, right? So this is equal to f of x, fine. So finally, we can see that f is an even function, fine. Okay, so now let's go to the next example. We have to prove that 10 theta upon 1 minus cot theta plus cot theta upon 1 minus 10 theta is equal to 1 plus 10 theta plus cot theta. So let us start with our LHS. So firstly what I will do is we will convert everything into 10 theta. So I will replace my cot theta by 1 upon 10 theta. So let us replace and start the example. So 10 theta upon 1 minus 1 upon 10 theta. Plus we can write here 1 plus 10 theta upon 1 minus 10 theta. Fine. So now what can I do is. We can take the LCM, so this will be 10 square theta. And from here I will take minus outside, right? So I will have what? 1 minus 10 theta in order to make this same. Plus 1 upon 10 theta and 1 minus 10 theta. Fine? So now let us take the LCM. So this is equals to minus 10 square theta plus 1 upon 10 theta upon 1 minus 10 theta. Fine. So now what this will become as 
1 minus 10 cube theta, okay, upon 10 theta into 1 minus 10 theta. Fine. Now we know the formula of a cube minus b cube. So let us we write the formula of a cube minus b cube that is a minus b a square plus a b plus b square. So the numerator will become 1 minus 10 theta into 1 plus 10 theta plus 10 square theta. Fine. And upon we have 10 theta into 1 minus 10 theta. So these two will get cancelled out. Now let us separate this. So first we will write 1 upon 10 theta plus 10 theta upon 10 theta that will be 1 plus 10 square theta upon 10 theta. So our final answer will be 1 plus from this 1 10 will remain. So 10 theta plus 4 theta which is equals to our RHS. Okay. So I hope you have understood throughout the session. Thank you for watching.